So in this video, I'm going to talk about and share lots of slides, graphs, everything you need to know about the 2023 housing market forecast. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about the 2023 housing market forecast, and I'm going to share these live with you today. So let me go ahead and pull these up. You'll see the slides post on the background here. You know, I think the housing market next is really about what the experts are saying, what's the most important as we go into the new year, and we're pulling all of that together for you to help make sense of all of it. And I think the best place to start is really to talk about what happened in 2022. In 2022, the housing market was really defined by inflation, rapidly rising mortgage rates, those two items. We know that the Federal Reserve has been, tr has been really hard to bring inflation down and slow down the economy, get that under control, and that's really defined what's happened this year. And of course, as we go into 2023, you know what's ahead for next year. I think that we're not out of the woods yet, and as we look ahead to next year, it's going to be defined by can the Fed bring inflation down and keep it down. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, and we will see stability in the market where there's been so much validity, especially around rising mortgage rates. Will we see that stability next year? So what I'm going to share with you today is a look at projections from the experts on mortgage rates, on home sales and home prices. And that'll get you headed into next year so you can plan. So I wanna start with this one quote from Jerome Powell, the Fed Chair of the Federal Reserve. And this is actually a quote that we shared with you earlier this year. It's from June of 22 and it says, I'd say if you are a home buyer, somebody or a young person looking to buy a home, you need a bit of a reset. We need to get back to a place where supply and demand are back together and where inflation is down low again and mortgage rates are low again. And this really sums up the essence of what the Federal Reserve was out to do this year to slow the economy. We know that housing is a big part of that to bring inflation down and get the housing market as one of those pieces that needs to come back into balance. And this is all driven by inflation. So we're going to talk about that a lot today. You're going to hear me say it's all driven by inflation quite a bit and there's a lot more work to be done. But where you know the economy right now it really is in a place where we're trying to get the rates down as well. We've seen that impact demand. Demand, it impacted home sales. That's had a downstream impact on home prices. And you saw that in my last video. There's been all of these factors in 2023 that have really led to that. And you know, the Federal Reserve is going to meet again later this month, actually this week, and we're going to be looking for that impact down the road. So as we talk about mortgage rates, that's the first topic we wanna tackle in the forecast. I think we can start with where have we been so far this year? As I mentioned a moment ago, the 2022 is really defined by rapidly rising mortgage rates. You can see this is a look at the Freddie Mac 30 year fixed rate going all the way back to January. And if you've followed along with us, you've definitely seen this graph before. We've been bringing it to you all year, and what you can see is at the beginning of the year where mortgage rates were almost at that historical low, and then they have risen pretty significantly through, throughout the year, and we've seen a little bit of a reprieve over the last few months. Maybe a nod to inflation potentially starting to take a turn, uh, potentially starting to come down, but like I said a moment ago, I don't think we're out of the woods yet, but we may need to keep our eye on that. 
We've seen a little bit of relief in mortgage rates recently, but the story this year is not about where the number is today, it's really about how mortgage rates rose so quickly. They more than doubled this year, and we have had, never had seen that happen in a calendar year. So what does that do to the housing market? Well, it slows the buyer demand down because everybody's looking at this ongoing fear of uncertainty. Not sure where they're going or where mortgage rates are going to keep rising, and that's what slowed the pace of home sales this year. It's not necessarily about the fact that mortgage rates ticked up over 7% last month, but really more about that rapid rise throughout the year and what the housing market is looking for is stability. And this year we've seen a lot of validity in the market and so really we're looking for that stability to come into play next year. And that's what, and that's all about inflation. So let's talk a little bit about what the experts are saying, what the experts are projecting for mortgage rates next year. This is a look and you'll see a chart at what Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, MBA and NAR are projecting for 2023. And it's the latest forecast we have that came out in November. And really, if you average them all together, they're saying somewhere between six and six and a half percent next year is where the rates will settle. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit higher at the beginning of the year, maybe coming down a little bit more, but again, really not about the number, but what we're looking for is stability in the market because that brings certainty back and brings buyers back into the market. It's the validity that has really been a challenge in the housing market. As I look at this graph, this chart, mortgage rates are really hard to project. Even the experts that are projecting them right now are having a challenging time kind of pinpointing exactly where they will go. Too many variables involved is what I would say. So what I don't want you to focus on is the exact number because whether it's somewhere between five and a half or six and a, and a half percent, wherever they may land, stability is really what we're looking for is for mortgage rates to stabilize. And that will bring a little bit more predictability back into the housing market right now. We know as inflation is high, mortgage rates are going to be high. The Fed is continuing to try and bring that down. We've seen little hints of maybe that's starting to happen. And we're going to continue to watch that to see where mortgage rates will go. And I think this quote from Greg McBride at bank rate, at bank rate says it all. It says mortgage rates could pull back meaningfully next year if inflation pressure eases. Again, it's all about inflation and that's certainly what we're looking for. We're watching inflation, we're watching the 10 year treasury yield, watching all of those factors to see where mortgage rates go. Now, as, as we stopped, as we continue to talk about that, as we watch the Federal Reserve meet, they actually met last week, uh, you, you'll know more um, than we know. They don't call mortgage rates, but they definitely have an influence on them. And if, it, if they continue to make aggressive hikes as they have throughout the year, uh, the rate hike uh, recently was a half a point, not, not as bad as it could have been. We may see mortgage rates go back up before they come back down, we're watching inflation, we're watching that reaction to see what happens in the market and truly looking for that stability and if inflation pressure eases and mortgage rates pull back. You know that is certainly what we hope will happen. That is definitely what we are looking for. So as we start to talk about mortgage rates, you know we know they've had a major impact on home sales this year. And as we look ahead to home sale forecasts for the coming year, I think inflation has really had an impact on that. Mortgage rates are a driver. So what I want to do next is share with you a little bit of what experts are projecting 
home sales will be and where they'll land this year. Then look ahead for next year and how that's all coming together. So let's take a look right here. This is a total home sales and it's going actually all the way back to 1999. It's a combination of new home sales and existing home sales. <coughs> and when we look at the forecast for 2022, where we're projected to the end of the year, it's just a few weeks and it's looking like experts are saying 5.8 million home sales this year in 2022. Now let's put this into context. If you're coming off last year where we had a record number of home sales, almost 6.9 million home sales, 5.8 million feels like a big slowdown. I'm sure you felt that all year long in, in the activity. It feels like that last year. We're completely cruising, buyers friendly, you know, lots of transactions. It was a very different year than where we've been right now. And if you use that analogy, we talk about that all the time. Last year felt like you were driving down the highway, you know, 85, 90 miles an hour. You were just cruising. You came around the corner, saw the flashing lights and put on the brakes and started to slow down. And although you were going the speed limit at that point, it felt like you were crawling. That's probably what you've experienced in 2022. So 5.8 million feels like a big drop off right there and we haven't seen 5.8 million home sales since about 2015 or so. If, as an agent, uh, you've gotten into the business over the past two or five years, even with the last 10 years, this feels a lot different and this feels slower. Welcome to real estate. What I wanna, want you to kind of take a look at is the reaction for next year. Experts are saying about 5.1 million home sales. So next year is going to feel a little bit slower. We know inventory is still significantly low, not enough homes on the market. As we look at this forecast, I wanna park here for a second because let's put this into perspective for a moment. You know, as we look at 5.1 million home sales projected, what the experts are saying for next year, we know that they're making that forecast right now in what we'll call maybe the depths of winter. And it's a little chilly out there. So inflation is high, mortgage rates are high, inventory is low, new construction is slowing. Buyer demand isn't as high as it was last year or at the beginning of this year. So all of those factors are kind of layered into this projection. But what I imagine where the experts see this number going is a little bit higher because experts tend to re-project and re-forecast as the year on. As we look for that nod to inflation potentially coming under control and mortgage rates potentially coming into a more stabilized environment. We may see this number tick up. It's definitely something we're going to keep our eyes on over the next few months. Next year, we're going to keep you posted on home sales as we go. But right now, the project projection roughly is around 5.1 million home sales. Something we haven't seen really truly over the past 10 years as you look into this context. So let's break down that 5.1 million. You can see where it's coming from. We like to average a consensus together. So Fannie, Freddie, MBA, and National Association of Realtors, anywhere from four and a half to five and a half million brings us down to an average of about 5.1 million. You know the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, probably not that high and probably not that low but we'd like to look at the average and it is the most current data that we can bring to you. So we will continue to update this for you as the projections and the data changes. So let's also talk about what could potentially kickstart home sales again next year. I think this quote from Lawrence Yoon really says it well. 
the upcoming month should see a return of buyers as mortgage rates appear to have already peaked and have been coming down since November. So as we're looking for that stability in the market, we've seen mortgage rates rise. We've seen a little bit of relief over, over the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> we certainly hope that they peaked. We're going to continue to watch inflation continue to see where that goes. But that could potentially bring more buyers back to the market as this continues to play out. So as we think about more buyers coming back to the market, you know we also want to talk about home prices. This is a big question on everyone's mind right now, and if you haven't watched my previous video from last week, I definitely encourage you to go back and watch that. I went really deep on home prices, where they are today, and what's happening with home prices. So go check that out. It's on uh, my YouTube channel if you haven't seen that. If you have questions about that, definitely go back and watch last week's video. What I'm going to share uh, for you right now is the forecast for what the experts are saying about prices in 2023. So here's the latest look at what seven of the key experts are forecasting for next year. This is a year over year home price appreciation. And what we're seeing is some are saying a little bit up, some are saying a little bit down. And again, we take an average of all those together and we're looking at roughly a neutral or a flat home price appreciation for next year. So you know this again is all based on local markets. Some of the more overheated markets are going to see more movement in home prices. That was a big topic that I talked about in my last video, and we'll see more changes in those markets. You know, the reality is we're coming off a 20% year over year home price appreciation at the beginning of this year. And you know, this feels a little bit different, even higher in our area. Right now, we're at about 10 to 11% year over year home price appreciation. And as we look into all the factors that go into next year roughly neutral, the truth is no one is calling for massive declines in home prices, but roughly neutral home price appreciation. And that could change as interest rates change, as inflation changes. You know we're still seeing low inventory and more buyers and sellers on the market, so that's going to continue to keep upward pressure on prices. It's going to continue to keep prices in check, but year over year isn't the only way that we look at this. We also look at month over month home price appreciation. And what we can see right now, and again, go back and watch last week's video, but as we've seen a little bit of month over month decline in home prices, that decline is getting a bit smaller, especially in some of these major metros. So we are going to continue to watch home price appreciation. This is very local, <clears throat> so always be sure to ask me for local data to layer on top of what the national forecast looks like because you want to know about both. And I'll have a Riverside County uh, market update as well. You're hearing national forecast in the news, but what you want to know is what's happening in your market as well. As your local market expert, I can share this data with you as well. So I think this quote from Mark Fleming says this very well. He's from First America. It says, the housing market once adjusted to the new normal of higher mortgage rates, that's essentially where we're sitting at right now, will benefit from continued strong demographic driven demand relative to an overall long run shortage of supply. So we still have demographic demand out there, especially among the millennials, the largest home buying cohort right now. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are waiting for the economic dust to settle, but at the same time, the demand and the interest is still there. 
So once we start to see some of that stability, once we start to see some of that consistency, the demand is there. Supply is still low, and that should continue to keep home prices in check in most markets. And as we look ahead, you know, I think this last quote from um, May Doug uh, from Fannie Mae um, says it well. It says, from our perspective, the good news is that demographics remains favorable for housing. So the sector appears well positioned to help lead the economy out of what we expect to be a brief recession. I started at the beginning and I talked about, it's all about inflation. And the more we start to see that nod towards the Fed potentially bringing inflation down, really working hard at that, we start to hear more chatter about our potential recession. And you know, there's a lot of people out there saying that's more and more likely right now. And so if we come into a recession, that is kind of the big question that a lot of people are asking is what happens to the housing market. And what we know from history is that in times of recession, over the past six recessions in this country, mortgage rates have actually come down. Now that doesn't define exactly where we'll go every single time, but history does teach us a lot. So you know the housing market with its demographic demand with inflation and the nod to inflation, ideally hopefully getting under control over the next year, mortgage rates ideally stabilizing. That could help the housing market lead the economy out of a brief recession. We certainly don't wish a recession on anyone, but the question is, what does that mean for the housing market? And so, as we think about what's ahead for next year, as we look at 2023, what the experts are saying, the story is really around, are we going to be able to see inflation come down and stay under control? And we find stability in the housing market. You know that is going to be the story for 2023. We will continue to keep you updated on all of these factors as the year unfolds with videos as we get updated information. So I hope this information has been helpful. And if you should have any questions about our local real estate marketplace, please feel free to reach out to me directly. There'll be contact information at the end of this video. Thanks again. And remember, it's important who you work with.